Welcome to Crybaby Sentimental Homestead. This is Aubrey. I absolutely love getting mail and nothing makes me happier than getting mail that has seeds in them. But of course, I have to make it happen for myself, right? No one's going to just miraculously send me seeds. So I ordered some Baobab tree seeds. They are nicknamed the Tree of Life for many reasons. Um, indigenous people to Africa, Madagascar, I think Australia even, um, maybe India. I don't know. It's they're they're grown in many places that have a warmer temperature than my own, a warmer climate, and they have um, they're used for food. They're used for just like everything. They've been used to treat like basically every that plant has been used to treat every plant every disease known to mankind, I think pretty much. So I wanted to grow it. It's like a sacred tree. It's also very interesting looking. It has a gigantic thick, um, trunk, which looks kind of like it's from like a Dr. Seuss novel or something. So I decided to order some, they ended up being about a dollar per seed. They gave me 11 and I purchased 10 and ended up being just under $11. So I'm going to update you later on that. If you want to see more on the Baobab tree, you're going to have to subscribe to my channel so you can get updates. Here's my second package, which I was okay with the packaging. I don't care if things are repurposed. I think it's nice to upcycle. But when I opened it up, there was no information. And it was, the seeds were not even labeled. Luckily, I've grown these seeds before, so I know what they're supposed to look like. Yes, those are pawpaw tree seeds. The paper towel that they were in was not dry, but it wasn't, I couldn't even say it was really damp. I hope these seeds are alive. They look good, but I've had seeds that looked good before. They were actually dry in the inside. So I don't know if these were cold stratified, if they were in moist cold stratification, if these are fresh seeds from this year, or if they're cold stratified last year and they're ready to plant. I've got no clue because they literally included no information. They have a newspaper that's information about random events that happen sometime, but there's no information about the plant. So if you sell or trade seeds, please include information let the person know if you've already treated the seeds or if they need to be treated. And if the seeds need to be planted right away and they need to stay damp, you need to make sure the paper towel is damp and not just like. So I just feel like, you know, if you're going to sell seeds, trade seeds, or even give seeds away, we have kind of like a responsibility of keeping them alive at least until they arrive to the person and then equipping that person with the knowledge of how to keep them alive moving forward. I don't know about you, but if I was to give someone seeds or sell them seeds and then they arrived and they just died, I would feel a sense of responsibility for the life of that plant. Like I know, I know it's a plant, but um, I don't know. I just feel like you know, there needs to be a little bit more effort here on trying to keep the seeds alive and healthy for, for the purpose of the plant, not just for the consumer, but for both, right? So I re-moistened the towel. It would be better if it was purified water or water that didn't have chlorine, but I used tap water because that's what I have. Now I have my other package here that arrived. It's also pawpaw seeds. It's supposed to be a hundred seeds and I did not count them. It looked like a lot. I was impressed that it said they were cold stratified already. It did say keep moist um, and gave you some a little bit more information. They're moldy, but um, if you have seeds like this, just as a question for you, what would you have done with the seeds if you saw them with mold? So I decided that I was going to give them a chance. I thought that the information they included was relevant and it said they're harvested in September 2022. They were cold stratified already, which means that they are ready to be growing. Um, so it says plant immediately up to 24 months required to germ for germination. And that shouldn't be true. If they've been cold stratified since se se 
since September of 2022, they should not require an additional 24 months. That doesn't make any sense. So I went ahead and rinsed them off. The mold was superficial. They were in the mail. They were damp. It's warm weather. Couple days to get me. It took me a day or two to open the package. So they were already um, already a little bit uh, moldy. But I'm just glad that they weren't sprouting in the mold. So if they haven't um, if they haven't germinated and they're a little bit moldy, rinse them off. I even use a little tiny bit of like just Dawn dish soap or something like that. Then I rinse them off. I rinse out the baggie really good. I kind of scrub it a little bit. I wrap them up in fresh damp paper towels. Put them into the same baggie. And then they are ready to go. Um, it's Even though they're ready to be planted, it's not the right time to plant them because... I, you know, I don't have, you know, 40 acres inside of a building, you know, to keep them going. They're going to be, um, outside eventually. So I'm going to keep them in the refrigerator so that they don't germinate too quickly on me. But if they start to germinate, then I will need to take them out and put them into pots. So you do need to re to like check on them frequently. I would say once every three or four weeks. I'm going to open up the baggie, take them out, rinse them off, refresh, give them fresh paper towels and put them back in again. And if they start sprouting, then I'm going to have to plant them. Here I have another package. I was not happy to see that the seeds, uh, these are persimmon seeds. They had one packing peanut. What the heck is that? Anyway, there's some instructions here, which I don't really agree with. I'm going to link in the comment and description box. Um, a resource that has better instructions on how to plant these for a higher germination rate. The little paper they sent with me to me says 25 to 35% germination rate, which is terrible. The seeds look very um, dry. And I have another order that I will show you that you can compare them to. If you look at them, I don't know if these are going to germinate. I'm giving them a chance because I always want to give them a chance. You never know. Sometimes you think something is not going to grow and then it does. And it, if it's over, if it's that one in a hundred that, that grew when it wasn't supposed to, you probably end up with like the best genetics because it was the one that persevered. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, um, soak them with the, with the germination rate of 25 to 35% with how many seeds I have in that bag. It's possible that none of them would grow. So, you know, cause each individual seed has that percent chance of growing. I went ahead and filled up the baggie with water. This is one of the hacks I like to do. You can put it in a cup of water, but they get knocked over. So I'll put it back in the Ziploc baggie that they came in. If it came in the Ziploc, I put the water in, I zip it up, and I soak them for about a couple of days. I forgot them before and left them in for five days, seven days. It doesn't cause harm. The harm will probably already have been done. The fact is they dried the seeds out. Persimmon seeds should not be dried. Drying them lowers the germination rate. If you dry pawpaw tree seeds you have ultimately killed them. I like this package here. I always like to reuse the bubble wrap, so I will definitely reuse those. The, here are some more persimmon seeds. Same kind of deal. The seeds are dry, but they don't look as bad. You'll see in a second. The instructions here are different than the other set. This one says store dry in a refrigerator. What? If you're going to be cold stratifying a seed, I've never seen anybody dry cold stratify if a persimmon fruit falls off of a tree and nobody hears it did it make a sound i'm just kidding no if a persimmon fruit falls off a tree and hits the ground the fruit around it is going to start rotting then it's going to get covered up with leaves and it's going to be moist it's going to be cold it's going to be dormant for a while but it's going to be damp it doesn't make sense that you would dry cold stratify. Um, so, you know, some people say you need to cold stratify for a few weeks or 90 days, or I just cold stratify until my season is right. And 
you do need to check on them and see if they start sprouting. If they start sprouting, you need to plant them. These seeds look a lot better. They actually look kind of like gold coins, which is kind of pretty. And I decided to kind of blend the instructions and go with my own intuition, which is these seeds need to be weakened so that the inside embryo can sprout. So I decided instead of um, nicking them, I'm going to um, use sandpaper to scarify them. I don't like to nick the seed coats because I'm afraid I'm going to hurt the embryo inside. So if I use sandpaper, it gives me a little bit more control over how much I'm damaging the seed coat. I just want to damage it enough that when I soak the seeds, they're going to really absorb the, absorb the moisture. And when the embryo tries to sprout, the seed has been then damaged a little bit by the, by the sandpaper and again by the, by the liquid, the water that's been soaking through. It just makes it soft enough and thin enough that the seed, the embryos can burst through in a fast in a faster manner. If you don't do this, then the seed has the, the little embryo works so hard to get out. And I've actually seen somewhere like the leaves and the tip of the stem start to rot because they don't open up all the way fast enough. So I went ahead and scarified the seeds with the sandpaper and that's super easy to do. If you don't have sandpaper, which you probably do, but if you don't, you can use like an emery board. You can use one of the cardboard emery boards or one of the metal ones. That's fine. Either way, it's fine. Um, you can even scratch it on cement. So if you don't have paper, um, sandpaper, if you have concrete or cement, you can just hold it against the cement and then kind of rub it back and forth just to scratch it a little bit. No big deal. I do not like to clip um, or nick the seeds because you can actually go too far and cut into the seed that's inside the, inside the coating of it. So this is kind of actually satisfying. I'm not going to show all of it. So I kind of like skip over, but I did scarify all of the persimmon seeds that came in my second package. Now I'm using the Dollar Tree little, like little portion pack um, baggies. I like them for some reason. I just really like them. Anyway, I put, I labeled it so I know what they are. They did arrive dry. So there's a, you know, there's, there's just a chance that they might not sprout, but I'm going to go ahead and give them the chance. So I scarified them with the, um, pa the sandpaper. I'm soaking them for a few days. Again, I fill up the, the baggie with water. I zip it closed it's going to go into the refrigerator. I like to tape them to my the inside of my refrigerator door so I don't forget about them because every time I open it, I see them. So they're going to be taped to the inside. I use painter's tape. It works great. God bless you. Keep planting. Make sure to take good care of your seed. Happy growing.